so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a smart parking system project by using arduino mobile application ir sensor servo motor ultrasonic sensor and i2c display so before start the next part i would like to tell you same project i have designed and developed two years back the project thumbnail you can see on the screen but i received the many requests or many comments from the student whatever the mobile application i have i have used in that project that mobile application is not supported with the latest android device so i want to give the answer to this question second question they asked me they are not able to connect the wi-fi model with their mobile application also wi-fi model with their uh, network okay so that question also i want to resolve in today's video okay so today's video i actually based uh, today's video i have recorded to resolve your question not to explain this project again if you want to design this project or design this hardware connection if you want to design this project then please watch my previous video the previous video thumbnail you can see on the screen also link given in the description you can go to that video you can connect all the hardware as per that video because to because i have connected the same hardware same connection okay so please watch that video you can easily connect all this hardware by using that video today's video i will focus on the mobile application and wi-fi chip okay first what i will do i will again show you the practical demonstration uh, so that you will get the idea about this project then we will uh, then i will focus on your question so that whatever you are a blocking point that will be resolved in the, in this today's video so you can see i have restarted the system i have given the power so attempting to the wi-fi it is trying to attempting to my network so wi-fi connected with the wi-fi connected with the broker okay sometimes you will get mqt connection fail in that case what you can do you can again restart your system so you can see connected with the network connected with the MQT broker so now it is calibrating my motor okay so after that let's assume that if car come in front of this ultrasonic sensor so get open get close and let's say car park in the this first parking slot so you can see slot 1 is full and you can see a color turns to the red if car park to the next car if next car come then again gate will be open gate will be closed let's say next car part to the second slot so two slots are full so you can see two slots get red color if i if car gets removed from the slot one slot two also you can see again two slots get green color let's say assume again next car come and next car park to the second slot then sec second slot is full turns to the red color you can see here mobile application turns to the red color and if it's get out of this parking so parking 2 is empty you can see on lcd and on mobile application also in, it is showing the green color so with the latest android uh, mobile i am using and that application is working okay so i will show you how to design this application now so again i repeat i will not explain the hardware connection in this project because i am using the same hardware connection exactly same hardware connection as per my previous video please watch my previous video there is no change in the hardware and if you face uh, if you want 
new mobile application then please watch this video okay now i will explain you which mobile application you should use for the latest android application okay so first setting you should do in your mobile hotspot uh, because of this setting your wi-fi is not your android uh, your arduino wi-fi is not able to connect with your network so you can see in the hotspot setting in your mobile you can go to your hotspot setting wi-fi hotspot setting okay go to your setting then hotspot setting you can search here hot hotspot setting then here you can see you should use the ap band as a 2.4 gigahertz frequency okay if you are using 5 uh, 5 gigahertz frequency that uh, arduino wi-fi chip will not able to connect your with your mobile okay so you should use the 2.4 giga gigahertz frequency so this is first step you should do then then go to the play store and then search here mqtt mqtt dashboard and then you can use this mobile application mqtt panel iot mqtt panel okay install this application in front of you i am doing the setting from the scratch okay once the app get installed then open that app okay allow then set up the connection so start setup click on this set up the connection set up the connection then give connection name as a parking you can give any name parking system then client id you can give any client id let's say xyz broker now here it is main important part so uh, sometimes whatever the broker i told you that broker is not available so just go to the google that broker will not available okay so just go to the google and search here just go to the google and search here free mqat broker then you will get the list of broker so you can use any broker so currently you can see this broker is available status available so copy this name copy this name okay so paste that name here then just create click on create button okay then after that you have to add the dashboard so click on plus button here you can see this plus button you have to click then give the dashboard name parking parking system save okay and then click on here create button you can see this one this one no need to open this additional setting so just click on this button then add the dashboard like this and then click on this create button that's it so your dashboard is created now what you have to do just go to the parking system and add the panel so in this panel you can use the node status this one node status so go inside this node status here you can give the pa panel name so panel name is parking slot one okay topic is rj1 as per the program to subscribe topic you can same you can give rj1 then payload you can give the rj1 also payload online so online means when you receive the message so we we are giving two message full and empty so first give the full here then offline you can give the empty so two message we have given the full and empty okay then after that icon click on this icon give any icon as per you want so let's say for the car parking system we can give the car okay then color for the full so first is online so online means car is full full means red color so you can give the red color and select then offline offline means empty so again give the car select the car here and then color so color is green select okay whatever we uh, what i i did i will again explain panel 1 slot 1 topic rj1 subscribe subscribe topic rj1 payload sync request you can give rj1 full empty 
payload online, payload offline. Then online we have given the color red, offline we have given the color uh, green. Then auto sync you can give here auto sync. Click OK and then click on create button here. At the bottom you can see create. Then parking was slot is completed. Now you can copy this slot. You can click on this clone button. Here you can see this is the clone button. You can click clone this parking once clone. Now you can edit the parking slot here. This one. So click on this button. Click on this button here. You can three dot. You can click here. Click on edit panel and give here topic name. Second parking slot RJ2, RJ2, RJ2. Okay. Then parking slot two. That's it only. Other setting as it is. I click on save button. So we have the two slot. Now I will show you again. I will run the project and I will show you whether it is working or not as per our parking request. Okay. Now quickly from the program, I will tell you where to change the broker. So once you open the code, so how to open the code that I explained in my previous video. Please watch that video. So here you can see broker name. You have to change the broker name in between this double two column, double two quote. Okay. So broker name you have to go. Uh, uh, broker name you have to give broker dot emqs dot io because this broker is currently available. So whatever the broker is available, you can give the name. And then after that, as per your uh, reference, you can change the topic message name if you want. If you don't want, you no no need to change. You can change your Wi-Fi ID and password as per here. Okay. So my Wi-Fi ID and my password is here. Then just click on this upload button. That's it only. And once you upload the button, you will your project start working. Okay. So once your project start uploaded and start working, you can see with the latest application, I I am I am getting the latest status. You can see parking one slot is full because I place my hand in front of parking one slot, then parking two slot. You can see both parking two slot are full. So this application is working. Now the third question. Now the third question from the student: Their Wi-Fi chip is not working because you can see I am using the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, model number is you can see it is S series ESP 01S. Okay, so you can search same Wi-Fi chip on the internet. You will available. Uh, you will easily get this Wi-Fi chip. Do not purchase the duplicate Wi-Fi chip. It is the series. Okay, you can you should purchase the series Wi-Fi chip. Okay, S series Wi-Fi chip. So this is my ESP 01S S series model. So you can see it is clearly visible about the name and the series name. Uh, here I have connected a uh, first two pins. You can see these two pins are shorted. This is 3.3 volt pin. At the back end you can easily see 3.3 voltage and enable pin are shorted here. Okay. Then after that I only use the TX pin and then the RX pin and the ground pin. That's it only from the back side. Do not purchase this duplicate Wi-Fi chips. It is not S series Wi-Fi chip. You can see I have purchased three Wi-Fi chips, but all those are not working. So you can see it is duplicate. It is not mentioned ESP S series name here on the top. Okay, here zero one S series name on the top. So whatever Wi-Fi chip I am using, it is original one, and that is clearly visible the S series name on the top. So do not purchase this because if you purchase this, even it is even if you connect connection uh, even if you connect the all the pins correctly then also it will not connect with your wi-fi okay so i hope i have resolved all your question regarding this uh, parking system project if you still have doubt you can contact me again on on my whatsapp number thanks for watching this video please like the video please subscribe the channel